Okay, so it's live. I'm doing a live. I hope that it's not going to be all blurry. Um, I apologize if it is. I tried doing a video just on my um, regular video uh, photo app on my phone, and it won't let me flip the camera around, so I kind of need to flip it today. But anyway, I'm doing this on... Um, okay, let me back up. Right now, well, let me back up even further. Because of this virus, there have been a lot of people that have planted gardens this year. Um, so to me, that says there are a lot of people that probably have some questions about different things that they've planted. One thing being bell peppers, okay? When your bell peppers start sitting on, you will get a ton. If you bought a four pack, which is four bell pepper plants, um, you know, whether they're all green or all red or all um, yellow or orange, fact is, if they're still growing and doing well, you're going to have a lot of bell peppers, more than your family can probably eat by the time they go bad. So you can preserve them um, in a very easy way um, for the winter. Okay, what I do, well, what my parents did when I was growing up was they would wash the peppers and then cut them in half and clean out all the seeds and sort of uh, paper towel dry them a little bit and then put them in freezer bags and freeze them halves okay I don't do it that way because I never use bell pepper halves I always use either chopped bell pepper or sliced bell pepper and I would just as soon do it when I'm um, preserving then have to mess with that when I'm cooking, okay, in the winter time. So also, if you don't have a garden, but you have relatives that have a plethora, this you can um, use do the, do this to your peppers. Um, or sometimes the grocery stores have um, a heck of a sale, four for a buck or whatever, and you can do this. Anyway, so what I do is I wash my peppers, and then. Um, I cut the top off, cut them in half, get all the seeds and, and the membrane out. The membrane's kind of bitter, so I kind of like to get that. You know, it's the white, the white stuff that sticks up. I got, them, I got it off pretty well on mine, but you guys will know what it is as soon as you see it if you don't know it already. And then, um, and then I start chopping. And today, let me flip you around. Today I did slices. So these are my slices of green bell pepper. Okay. Um, I have them on cookie sheets. All right. So I don't freeze them right away in bags. I put them in cookie sheets and freeze them this way. That way they're frozen really well. I shove them in my freezer. I have a deep freeze. And um, that way they don't come out. I'm going to flip you back around. They don't come out as a big just ice bell pepper bomb, okay? You have your pieces. In fact, I'll show you because I have some in here. Oh, okay. So these are my bell peppers from, what, 2018. And these are slices. So when we're going to have fajitas or I make something called steak and peppers, something my mother and my grandmother made, and um, I put the sliced in there. So then it's already done. Um, I didn't do any chopped today because I was doing this by myself, and I'm lazy, and I didn't want to chop all of it. So I did chop. I'll show you what I chopped for supper tonight because we are going to have. Um, so I chopped those, but um, these I just sliced. But we're going to have um, stuffed bell pepper casserole. Anyway, okay. Well, I think I'm going to try and figure out how to make this a YouTube video so it's shareable. And um, if you have any questions, put it down. I'll, I'll, um, I'll get to it sometime. I haven't been online a whole lot. There's been so much going on that um, I haven't been on very, long, very much. But anyway, have a good day. Love you all. Bye-bye.